boxing truth here. Vasil Lomachenko is another fighter that I appreciate as he displayed his his special talent and the physical gifts that he has and the skill set that he presents to the public and the type of boxing style that I really appreciate. Just like I talked about in Andre in Andre's fight, he boxes the right way. Vasil Lomachenko does as well. He does he stays in the pocket, stays in punching range. He he just performs where it's more impressive when he when he boxes because he's 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 not really running away from you. He's he's right there in the pocket, but he'll use angles. He'll of course sidestep and and turn his opponents like he did a few times against with uh, Roman Martinez, which was. Just a beautiful thing to watch. Would just unleash right hooks while turning his opponents. Just a difference in skill level, speed, foot speed, boxing skill. Just a huge gap in, in, in talent and physical tools. And Lomachenko was just too quick for Roman. Roman just had, had no idea what to do. Was constantly getting tagged with uh, straight lefts. Just getting his head snapped back. That just shows you how pretty much it was a a one side it was a one sided bout it was a mismatch in the ring just too big too big of a, a gap in skill level and Lomachenko he he delivered he he delivered on a on a sensational performance he closed the show scored a sensational knockout and you know the people at HBO were comparing his performances against the, the two fighters in, in Salido and Roman Martinez compared to Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia beat both of those guys, and he beat them pretty impressively. As Mikey stopped Salido, I mean, he, he knocked him down multiple times and, and then quit after getting headbutted, and he got a technical decision, and he ended up stopping Martinez, but was also dropped in that fight, so... Of course, there's a, there's being comparisons made by the people at HBO compared to Lomachenko. And Lomachenko, he took an L to Salido, but it it it, it had um, Salido needed a hundred low blows, coming in overweight, also weighing as a, as a welterweight, a thirteen pound weight advantage, and barely escaping with a split decision win after almost getting knocked out in the last round against Lomachenko to get that win. And you saw what Lomachenko did with Roman Martinez, just straight up schooled him, beat him down, outclassed him, and then knocked him the fuck out. And now, Lomachenko, it's pretty much, it looks like he's going to stay at 130. And he should, there's just more opportunities for him at 130 compared to 126. The only fight at 126 that's desirable for him is, is a Santa Cruz fight or the Santa Cruz Frampton winner. That's that's it. At 130, he has more options. You know, there's Francisco Vargas. There's the Salido rematch. There's the Nicholas Walters fight that still can be negotiated for later this year. There's just more opportunities at that weight. For, and he looked pretty damn good tonight. He looked strong. He was punching harder. And he scored a sensational knockout. I mean... Just a great performance all around. You know, he I'm sure he impressed some people tonight with his with his ability, his his um his accuracy, his boxing skills and the, the footwork, the athleticism. It's just you don't see too many fighters like like Lomachenko with the talent he he possesses, he brings to the ring, the physicality and the, the athletic gifts that he has, the type of style that he brings from the southpaw stance. It's just, it's amazing to watch. Crazy-ass amateur record. 397 fights, only one loss. Was avenged twice. Two gold medals. Has made history with winning two world titles and, and, and just seven pro bouts officially. Whatever, you, you can count his World Series of boxing bouts, whatever, but... It's officially he's made history. He wanted a world title shot his first fight. You know, this is why you got to give props to Lomachenko, man. He wants to fight the best. He's always wanted to fight the best. He doesn't want to be protected. Top rank doesn't protect him. They've been wanting to put him in with the best out there. 
And now it looks like he's going to be getting those big fights. You know, the Salido rematch is definitely a fight he needs. He wants to right that wrong. The Francisco Vargas fight, the Nicholas Walters fight. And if any of the Heyman guys want to move up to 130, he's going to be right there. And who knows, maybe maybe a future fight with Verdejo at 135 if he's still around at that weight class. But who knows, maybe they'll never fight. They fought in the amateurs once. But good performance by Lomachenko. He got the type of win he needed, a knockout win, to showcase that, you know, maybe he does have some power. There's, there's fans that... that that you know that feel that he doesn't possess that type of power or he's not the most exciting but to me he's one of the more exciting boxers to watch in the game because he does it the right way he doesn't he doesn't fight like a scared bitch doesn't run away doesn't play tag with you he's right there he lets you try to hit him but it's hard to hit him it's not easy he has got good defensive ability he's very quick he's got great footwork turns you Great, good counter puncher, good eyes. And he has a type of style that where it's it's pleasing to watch. Because he's, he's going to stay in the pocket, he's going to stay in punching range, and he's going to make you miss, and he's going to make you pay. And that's the type of boxing I appreciate. It's just way more impressive to me when a fighter with boxing ability is able to stay in punching range make his opponents miss and make him pay and also score sensational knockouts but that's just me if you like watching fighters play tag with their opponents you know it is what it is you know do you keep watching that boring shit but what what Demetrius Andre and Vasil Lomachenko showed tonight that's box this is boxing truth I'm out